Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and I've made a few upgrades to my desk setup. This video is brought to you by Skillshare, the best place to learn everything you've always wanted to learn, including how I learned to make the design on this t-shirt. Hit the link in the description to find out more, or stay tuned to the end of the video for a special offer. So my last desk setup was quite a big change in a few areas, and this version keeps what made the previous setups great, but also majorly upgrades, improves, and simplifies some of the key aspects. The most notable change here with my new desk setup is the keyboard. No, it's the monitor. This is the LG 38WK95C, and it's kind of my dream monitor come to life. It's 37 and a half inches diagonally with a 3840 by 1600 resolution that's close to 4K, but not entirely there, and it's also curved. Colors are beautiful and accurate, brightness is at 300 nits, which is alright, there's up to a 75Hz refresh rate, 99% sRGB, FreeSync, and HDR, although it's something I really haven't tested on this monitor. But the main selling point here is the massive amount of screen real estate, and at first, I thought it was going to be a bit too big, but the curve somehow makes things feel not too far away. I also have it connected to a Vivo Vesa arm, and this monitor is within the weight limit for the arm, but not the size limit, although it still seems to work perfectly, at least for now. The arm also has great options for cable management, but the main reason why I actually use the Vesa arm and not the stand that came in the box is the fact that it gives the overall floating look to the monitor itself, and also it eliminates stuff on the actual desk to provide more surface area for work. And after a few days of usage, it's very hard to go back to a standard monitor because an ultra-wide like this is just life-changing. I don't really ever run out of screen space, and for apps like Final Cut Pro with massive timelines and tabs and stuff everywhere, it's a dream come true, and you can actually see everything. One of the reasons why this monitor is just so great for a MacBook Pro setup is the fact it has USB-C connectivity. It plugs directly into my MacBook Pro with one cable, displays video, audio, and supplies power. Something my previous monitor in the last desk setup couldn't do. The monitor has very smart control systems, both physically with a little knob at the bottom, and virtually with the companion software you can download, and there's also a full hub on the back with USB ports, HDMI, display ports, and a headphone jack. The headphone jack does sadly have some white noise with headphones plugged in, but the way I have my MacBook Pro set up is I just plug my headphones into the MacBook itself. And for the earbuds that I mainly use, they're the Bowers & Wilkins C5 S2, and I've been using these forever, and they're just really great overall earbuds. I also ditched the speakers from my previous desk setup in favor of using the speakers that are actually just built into the monitor itself. I mainly edit my videos with headphones or earbuds in, when I actually use these speakers on the monitor itself, they're surprisingly decent for everything else, so removing the actual speakers on my desk setup made way for the massive size of this monitor. Up next, the keyboard on my desk has also received a bit of an update. I really enjoyed my time with the Logitech Craft keyboard from before, but also wanted something a bit lower profile and with better battery life. So I picked up the new Apple Magic Keyboard with number pad in space grey, and only Apple can charge more for an identical keyboard with a different colour to the previous Magic Keyboard. But besides that, this keyboard is awesome. I've had it since the end of May and it's now early July, and I haven't even charged it once even after getting out of the box. That's over a month of usage, and I still have 40% battery left. It charges through lightning, and I wish it was USB-C, but I have plenty of lightning cables, and plus this one actually includes an exclusive black lightning cable in the box, so I guess it's kinda cool. The keys feel great, and unlike the MacBook Pro's butterfly keyboard, there's a lot more travel here as well. The minimal design just really drew me to this keyboard, it's just so simple and clean, and I don't really have any complaints about the keyboard either, besides the extra price for Space Grey, and also the lack of backlighting, but I can kind of forgive that. The other upgrade at my desk setup is the addition of an Alexa Spot, and to be honest, I rarely ever use it for voice control, but mainly just the fact that it's a beautiful smart clock. It shows the weather, news headlines, and it's also great to order and track orders from Amazon just on the spot itself. 
but my true assistant, at least for now, is the Google Assistant. And I actually use the Google Home Max that's perched atop the IKEA Kallax shelf that's right next to my desk. I love the Max for its loud, excellent sound quality, the neighbors don't, and it's also very smart. The new Continued Conversations feature is just an absolute win in my book, it makes using Siri a complete joke. Hey Google, what is 2 plus 2? The answer is 4. How tall is the CN Tower? 553 meters. Tell me a joke. What's the first thing a monster eats after he's had his teeth checked? The dentist. Thanks, Google. I'm happy to help. Also on the shelf, just a bunch of other props and camera gear, HomeKit security camera from D-Link, books, fake plants, those kind of things. Nothing really too exciting. And also my Knoopsie action figure, of course. Back to the desk, everything is kind of the same for my previous desk setup, but for a quick recap, I'm still using the Apex Desk standing desk with a custom IKEA tabletop, the 2016 MacBook Pro with touch bar, 12 South Book Arc stand in space gray, the Native Union and a Logo iPhone, Apple Watch and AirPods docks, and the MX Master 2S mouse which is still my favorite mouse of all time. Behind the monitor, the Nanoleaf Aurora panels for that sweet RGB lighting. This is kind of my perfect desk setup, but I'm not really finished just yet. I'm always looking to further simplify, improve, and make this setup work even better for me so I can just sit down or stand up and just get work done. This video was brought to you by Skillshare, the best place to learn everything you've always wanted to learn or didn't even know you wanted to learn. For me, it was learning to make designs like this that I eventually decided to print on t-shirts just to wear for myself. One of the classes on Skillshare by talented graphic designer Vassian Catro was all about making these cool posters, so I spent a morning learning, and I didn't just make these designs, I also learned about how to actually use tools in Illustrator and Photoshop that I've never even touched before. And this class is just the tip of the iceberg. There are classes on video making, typography, animation, cooking, design, photography, basically everything. Over 20,000 classes taught by true masters, and a bunch of great benefits just for signing up. Hit the link in the description for two months of free Skillshare and start learning some true awesomeness. So I'm pretty happy with this version of my desk setup, but I want to hear your feedback for future upgrades. Let me know in the comments down below, and thank you for watching.